worked with all of these deaf artists, but you and Snoop never did do a song together. Oh man, Snoop, you 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 told me you ready, man. Come on. Oh my bad. It, it, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. No. So what, what what was the what was what do you think? I know he had Nate to rely yeah. on for like you know a lot when you kind of. Kinda, I, I got love. I don't know what Snoop. You kind of hear uh, the Dog Pound kind of talk about it. It's like you know they say they interviews about well, we had Nate and da 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 da. I don't know if that's that's what Snoop felt. Uh, I didn't feel like that because Nate and I don't sing the same. It's we had our sides, and you know what I mean. Like so, when I hear a lot of people, and I'm not saying Pac was just privy to with Shug's people, but when I hear people sing. Things like, let's say, for instance, if Pac wasn't getting along with Suge, so to say, she wouldn't have known that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I gotta ask you about, uh, <laughs> man, just Suge Knight, man. You was with them early. I gotta get back to the music, because I, I, mm -hmm. I done skipped over something. You know, when you're playing in your plate, you know, man. it ain't right, man. Yeah, go ahead. So I gotta, I gotta get back in my bag. You are one of those guys, man, that... You worked with all of these deaf artists, but you and Snoop never did do a song together. Oh man, Snoop, you you, you told me you ready, man. Come on. Oh my bad. It, it, my bad. <laughs> my bad. No. So what, what 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 was the what was what do you think? I know he had Nate to rely yeah. on for like you a know lot when you when you kind of I got love, I got love for my homies who be rolling with me. I don't know what Snoop. You kind of hear uh, the Dog Pound kind of talk about it. It's like you know they say they interviews about well, we had Nate and. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if that's, that's what Snoop felt. Uh, I didn't feel like that because Nate and I don't sing the same. No, at all. At all. Like, and I'm not going to even play with myself to play like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do two different things. Right. Um, Nate is the king Definitely. of what Nate Dog did. They got my homie hemmed up and they all around. Can't let them up see him if they going straight down for power. You know what I mean? Did and do. R.I.P. Um, to Nate. Yeah, that was a. R.I.P. to him. But uh, I just think that the, the time, you know, uh, there was two sides of death row at that time. And, you know, I was mostly close with Suge and Pac was around Suge. So that's who I work with. Didn't really get that opportunity to work with Snoop. But I, I look forward to that real soon. How was Tupac and Suge's relationship? At the end, this is a gloomy place for people. You know, how was it? Were they friends? Were they? Were, was there a dilemma? Were there drama? Even Snoop, you hear all these stories. I've asked. I asked Kenya where. I've asked a lot of people I've interviewed about their relationship. You asked who? Uh, Kenya where about that, about, Pac? about Pac? She said none she, of them. All of them. When I, you know, what she say? She well, said that <laughs> she basically was saying that he was because she was around. Yeah, him. she was around. Right, she okay, said, "Okay, finish." <laughs> she just said she basically would tell a story like you know she was she was there Pac seen her before he passed away he was in good spirits seen her where at she was there that night at the fight okay and her, her and Nate's uh, wife baby mama okay right. yeah uh, baby mama at the time may have been wife but she just she seemed like they was in a good place except for Snoop she said Snoop was not in a good place with Pac when he passed. Okay. That wasn't accurate. You know I mean, that so he wasn't. They didn't ride together like no, that, that. that. No, it wasn't. It, that, that wasn't accurate. I mean, a lot of the things LT love him to death, but that wasn't accurate. You yeah, know, he's just putting something in that suit, sauce yeah, it up. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like Cause that. Cause you wasn't. Cause you was down there that Pac night when that happened. No, Pac did not and should were not talking to Snoop and them. We were. It was everybody. Period. No, it was no talking. So they basically, None. it, it, it could happen on site if we see them too. On site. When we saw the stab. Out of everybody on this mother. This is a five and a half hour flight. Don't nobody say one word to me. Not one word. Because two weeks prior, he gets on the radio and, you know, he says he's cool with Biggie. And that infuriated yeah. everybody. Like, nigga, you know, I don't, we don't know what happened in New York, but if this boy is rolling with him, you got to roll with him. And, you know, Snoop crossed the line to me, you know, because Pac. He loved him. You know, he yeah. loved him. He, he, he generally loved him. And, you know, that hurt Pop to the core. Because he thought that this guy was riding him. with him. He hurt him. So he died not even having mm -hmm. no kind of mm -hmm. love for Snoop. Mm -mm. He didn't, I mean, it was, it was, they, nobody was getting along at that point. Nobody was getting along. Not, they were on so their Snoop side. So Snoop wasn't at the hospital? No. So that's a lie. Well, he, he can come to no hospital. Now, when I was Because you Snoop, was at the hospital. Snoop's mother and auntie flew down there with me. 
Mm. She went down there to represent Snoop. Okay. Monday. It happened Sunday, late Sunday night, or between Saturday, Sunday, and we went back down there Monday. Dad's didn't go down. Okay. So is that about right? She knew that? Yeah, she yeah. told me that. I say she knew that. It's not what I actually... Oh, she said she... That's, that's what, what she, she told she us, said. so evidently that's what she knew. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, you know... So was that not correct? I mean, again, you know... Um, we, I want to hear from your perspective. We had our sides, and you know what I mean? Like, so when I hear a lot of people, and I'm not saying Pac was just privy to with Shug's people, but when I hear people saying things like, let's say, for instance, if Pac wasn't getting along with Shug, so to say... She wouldn't have known that. Okay. Why? Because her baby daddy wouldn't have known that. Snoop wouldn't have known that. That's real, cause that's because that's hang Because he's hanging with bloods, right? So Pac's not gonna go over there and talk over there mm. to to dads and corrupt and they baby mamas and it was probably something that it probably everybody was feeling. You know, something wow. going on. You know, like I grew up and figured that something was going on with my money. And, you know, yeah. maybe Snoop and all of those guys figure that as well, or Pac may have figured that out. But to, to for people to talk like they were in the click of, mm. I get it. The only people I think are privy to that is like the outlaws. Yeah, I'm not even privy to knowing what, because Pac wouldn't have said nothing bad about Suge in front of me. Correct. That makes sense. Why would he? Because I would. Because it would have been a problem. I would have mm -hmm. told him. Period. Motherfucking point blank. You would have told him. Fucking yeah. Like at that time, Chug would have known this nigga ain't happy. Cause you lawyer. No, nigga, we nigga, why you ain't happy? Those are the kind of meetings we had. What <laughs> nigga? He was had like, guardianship you know over him. Yeah. So they had like, a close relationship. So that was a hell of a thing. That was an yeah, intense meeting. Yeah. I mean, give me a I mean, give me you know, a story on some of the meetings. You just I mean, got saying, me thinking you know, now. Our, our red room meetings and our death row meetings. What the hell was y'all doing in these meetings, Danny Boy? Things, if if things and, and you know, if something didn't go right on Snoop Snoop them side or you know, on Shugnam's side, you know, Snoop was the one to fix it. And Snoop people was the ones to fix it. They had OGs that fixed it. You know, it wasn't like a bunch of bloods is going to beat on these crips and these crips going to beat on these bloods. It was organized. It was organized shit. Like the homies checking the homies. Mm -hmm. wow. You know what I mean? And, and when, when things wasn't right, we would sit in a room and, you know, we would pull those things right as men. But everybody knew what Death Row was about. It wasn't, we wasn't men that was, you know, meeting in a corporate office. Ooh, these was niggas exactly meeting in the office you know about millions and millions of dollars and dreams and, and and it turned out to be some brilliant niggas that had to be in that room because their work showed it yeah we on boss talk one-on-one one -on -one. yeah we gonna talk